All right, we're back. We're good, man. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Sorry right. about that. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, Eddie didn't pay the light bill. We got that out of, out of the bro, Maybe it's bro. me, man. Maybe it's me, man, because my FIFA online be lagging some. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't. I bro, can't wait. That, uh, I can't wait to go it, back on this, Eddie, and reflect <laughs> on the fact that we had to do a part two to say, yo, how are you gonna upload this shit on YouTube? <laughs> We'll, we'll we'll get that going, bro. We'll get that going. But yeah, you know this uh, the coronavirus. Hey, got, hey got if anything, if anything, it was a it was a you know. A, I just I just went over there asking because my mom's cooking. She's making a chicharron and salsa verde, and I went over there. My, hey, you got another shot of tequila, you know? Because we kind of like you know we're lagging a little bit, so <laughs> uh, maybe a shot might fix it. Nice, <laughs> brother. Like, no nice. Fucking, we ran out. We ran oh, out. Uh, Let's get back to it. Yeah, Maroons, for sure. Maroon, you're going back into, or no, Maroons, you're, you're getting into the soccer arena industry. What happens next? Okay. So, so getting into it. So I grew up, like I said, I grew up around Maroons, everything. Um, Coplas was around, like I told you guys, with Victor. And um, there was a guy, Leo, who played with the Maroons, who they all connected on because they were so perfectly good in business so the Chicago storm happened they opened the first sports zone I was in there so they gave me they gave my father tickets for me to go watch the Chicago storm at the UIC pavilion so I go to go watch the U the I go to UIC pavilion I go to watch the storm the Chicago storm and uh, oh let me put that nice don't oh, yeah. yeah look at that so, so I go to I go to go watch them I think this was um this was probably like 2005 2004 um so then i end up going um and i loved it it was it was crazy it was like bananas like it was like hockey but on turf playing soccer and and it was just it was like w this was the wwf of soccer that's what this was. And I'm I glad you said into, that. Into I was getting ready to say that. I was getting ready to say that. I'm glad you said that. But let me say WWE for, you know, Vince McMahon won't get sued. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man. But yeah, uh, man. So oh, that, that, so that was it. So it. And you got to the point, and you told us it pretty much took you across the world. You started, you know, in Chicago, Milwaukee. You ended up going to Texas and all these. Seattle. Things. How did you get to Florida? You told us that was a special place for you. That's like pretty much with the one you keep with you. How did that happen? And tell us about the uh, topics. Uh, perfect, perfectly said. Um, well, that that happened. Um, the or me ending up back in Orlando to play for Orlando was uh was big for me. No, um, Florida one, the Florida tropics. Oh, tropics! Oh, tropics! Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, yes. So, tropics. so trop We'll get so to with, Orlando so here. Tell us about tropics. So with tropics, with tropics, it was um, it was something dope. It was it was pretty dope. I did go to their tryouts. I I went to their tryouts. I I I banged it out in their tryouts. They loved me. Called me back. Uh, this was during the time where the leagues were gonna separate, but they stayed together because together is stronger. Everything together is stronger. So. I ended up going to Florida and I loved it, man. It was, it was something, something different and something more professional in my career ever in my career where we had a coach, we had owners, we had an organization, we had fan base and, and it, it was something, something awesome. Heat, we had the heat in, in Florida. Um, but then, you know, like, I, I think I I gave them my all. I busted my butt in practices and took practices serious. I took games serious. I took winning serious. I wanted to win. I, I wasn't there in Florida to to joke around or or to be a bum. Like I wanted to win. Um. So as time went on, you know, I think it kind of caught up to me. Um. In a game, I got injured against Syracuse. Uh. And so, bro. There, so let me. So, so let me let me stop you there, bro. Like, yeah. Like that right there, man. That right there is like it's your, you know, your pretty much your yeah. Away yeah. moment, right? Like, 
you got injured, man. Like, there's a lot of people that get injured and they're like, holy shit, like, I am going to stop playing soccer and I'm going to dedicate myself to something else, right? It's, and, you know, perfect. and that is for us, your, yeah, man, like, for you, it's like, how the hell, like, you got injured, man, like, how, what, how bad was your injury? Well, oh, before, my. before you get yeah. into that, Theo, before you get into that, obviously, you were in the, like you said, Tropics was the best time for you. You felt like that was really special for you. Um, obviously, unfortunately, you went through this injury. It was a it was a season ending injury for you. From what I remember you telling me, and obviously you'll get to the details, you said, and I quote, I thought that I'd get back from this injury, keep going with my life. There's to us, there's no Yahweh moment. I'll get back, I'll bounce back, and everything will be back the same. But what what kind of reflected differently? What what do you think like was like, all right, shit, think I'm not maybe gonna get back from this the way I thought, right? Like what do you what do you gotta say to that? Um all right, well with the situation, how everything ended ended in Florida. Um I stayed there an extra year just to kind of reflect, how you said, reflect and, 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 and find myself um, as a person again um, and as somebody who matters. So I ended up staying there like almost like a few months. I came back because um, uh, the, fo- like, the following seat, like uh, there was playoffs in Hispano. So I got better. I came back. I played with you actually. In Hispano, um, before I had surgery, I played in Hispano. I, I recovered without the surgery, and actually came back, played with you with uh, with Toluca. Basically, I think that's what we were called, and we won a championship. And then a week later, I ended up deciding to have my surgery. So, but let me stop um, you right so there. my Yahweh. Let me stop you right yes. there before you get further. So, yeah, he came back from Tropics. Things didn't work out. He came back, he had a surgery in Chicago, and that's actually when, from the, from the beginning where I knew Theo, this is the Theo that I actually was like, wow, this guy is fucking electric. And to me, I've, I've known a lot of people. I know people that can, they can pretty much, you know, put a good picture out there or put a good picture on Instagram or kind of fake how they are. But when I actually got to see him on the field and off the field, I was like, wow, this guy's the same way on the field and off the field. He's a <laughs> Dude, the yeah. field, it's, field. It's like the and cat with the, it's the, and cat it with the like chilena. In, in an annoying way. You know what I mean? There's people that are loud and obnoxious in an annoying way. Gio wasn't like that. So when I, when I got the chance to play with Gio, and I didn't know what happened through this whole thing with the tropics. This is through his injury. I'm like, oh. There's fucking Gio. Now, I asked him, and he pretty much just said, hey, I'm coming off of an injury right now. I'm hoping to be back. Great. And I saw him play, and I'm like, wow. He, the guy scored. I think he scored in our championship game. And he got on top yeah. of the – if you know what indoor soccer arena looks like, he got on top of, of the walls. And I'm like, what the fuck is he <laughs> doing? <laughs> and I'm like, that's how you know that this guy is special. He's different. I mean, I was like, he comes from a different setting. Like he, that's how soccer arena is. So I was like, wow. Everybody's special, man. There's a lot of special, there's a lot of special players. So he came back, things didn't work out in tropics. He found alternatives. He started playing little by little. And I guess, you know, for you to put it in better words, Gio, what was your fuel? Or what was your like? Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back on this league, regardless of how serious my injury is. I'm gonna get back in the league. What was, what was your feel? Man, my feel, my feel to 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 get back in the league was was the the fuel that got me got me wanting to come back into the league was how I was turned, how I was pushed out the league, um, and 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 maybe not pushed out, but how I wasn't cared for. So when I came back to Chicago, played with you, um, won that championship, I, I seen myself so good, 
having a tour ACL, MCL, PCL, playing in, 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 in high competitive amateur league and winning a championship. And I, I, I believe that with surgery, I'll get through it. And I, and I, I, I felt pain so much. Like I've pain to me is, is I got so many tattoos, um, <laughs> like my injury, like pain to me is, is something to push forward with. So I know I can fight the pain and, and, and that helped me like go through the surgery. And, and while I was at home sitting down, I watched, a lot of film, a lot of film, you know, like so much. Um, uh, and, and it made me want to learn it, try to master it and go back into the league and shut a lot of mouths. Um, but also uh, a big, a big person who like, kind of like, it's my rival. I'm going to say it's my rival because without that person, I wouldn't be kind of who I am. And um, Nestor Hernandez, I know he had a lot of injuries. I know he had a, a, not injuries, but he had a lot of surgeries. He had I, probably three, two or whatever. He came back into the league, kept playing. So, shout, so shout yeah. out to Nestor? Yeah, shout out to Nestor, bro. Phenomenal. Yeah, Nestor, like the Nestor. Nestor is my, my year age, so I know Nestor well. I don't yeah, know man. So, me, but I, I know I have him out. So, so he, he kind of – Per, he kind of came about his injury and survived any situation went from team to, uh, to team and, and became better each year. And that kind of told me in my head, if Nestor can do it, I can do it. If, if he can do it, I can definitely do it because he's more of a, of a, of a player who, who, who everything came to him everything, opportunities, everything came to him. I looked for it. I looked for everything. I fought for everything. And, and, and I'm more hungry. Like he's hungry, but I'm hungry. I'm really hungry to succeed in the way I want to succeed. Well, that kind, so I persevered. that kind of, that kind of leads into the next thing. Yeah. And as me and Eddie were talking about it, you ending back in Orlando with the Sea Wolves, um, how you kept – after you felt like you were ready to be back on the field, the way that you were training, the way that you were training with each individual team, from Milwaukee to St. Louis to Dallas, the thing that exactly. stood out from us, and you can obviously say it in your own way, was the fact that after you left Texas, you said – I think after Texas, I was pretty much done. I was like, well, fuck. No one's going to get me. Let's – yeah. Let's close that book. But then you got a call. Then you got a call from Josue, which is a good, <laughs> a good buddy of mine. Josue, shout out to you. I played many years with him. Um, sure. And you said, hey, man, we need you. We could use you. And you ended up in Orlando. And then the way that you were performing in Orlando was unreal, dude. I mean, there's a difference between you playing and you actually putting up fucking numbers and being exactly, respected. exactly, exactly. So how was that, dude? How was it going midseason and putting up numbers and playing to the highest of your level? How was that? What I mean, obviously you were hungry, but there was more to it. Man, uh, there was a lot more to it. So I ended up over there. Something new, you know. Like I got over there, you know. Um, had the first day of practice. Um, showed up to the first day of practice. And the Florida Tropics train in the same facility. Wow. So wow. they trained they trained before us. So I get there, you know, I get there. Um, they're all walking out, you know, Gordy Gerson, you know, like all these all these players, all these big time players, you know, like coming out of there. And um next thing you know, like I see Gordy, I I, I see Stefan come out, but then I start seeing like uh, reggae, um, all these, like I said, big time players. So I, I'm like, damn, I didn't want to be in this situation. Like, fuck, you know, like, what am I going to do? Like, so then the coach sees me and the coach, like out of nowhere comes up to me, hugs me crazy, bro. Like everybody hugs me. So I, it was what I needed. I needed that. I needed that, was that, that too. That was your closure right there. Yeah, that was, that was my it. That was my, that they, they made me, you know what? Boom, 
I got this out the way. I got, I, you know, like, even though, well, whatever. Well, G, 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 you know, that, I mean, that, that just shows, man, like, that us, us, the soccer player that you are, right? Like, you have a person that you are, right? Like, this goes be, beyond soccer, too, right? Like, you're definitely that type of person that you, you try to bring out the best of people. And they see that, right? So I think by you, by them showing you love and like showing you that, you know, definitely coming out and being like hugging you and be like, hey, man, you know, checking up on you and making, you know, making sure you're good. Like, that's the type of person that, that people want to play around with, those people that bring out the best of them, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. And, exactly. And, and Gio, before you start, before you start, Gio, you know, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, but. I want you to go ahead and explain to them you played what five games, if anything. And I think the guy had like a hat trick in one game. He had a, in other words, the guy was putting up fucking. Points. He's a beast, bro. He's a beast. He's like, <laughs> <"That's> <laughs> guy, <bro." laughs> of what sport he was playing, like, the guy was putting up fucking points, and it, it's different. Like, you think that, you know, from your perspective, you think that it's just easy to just be on a team. It's just like work. To him, that was his job. So he got to his job. He got hired. And next thing you know, this guy's already at the top of the table. I wish I could show you the stats that he had, like, on the screen of, like, his first two games. He literally had, like, a hat trick in the first game. And if if people out there don't know what a hat trick is, a hat trick is like a, pretty much like a triple double, put it that way. Like he had yeah. three goals. He had three goals. He, you know, he had assists too. That's, I mean, soccer is not so much a stats game, but that's what he had. Uh, so yeah. I kept telling Eddie, I was like, dude, this guy went back in the league after a, a, a pretty serious injury and he had numbers that probably he, didn't even have it at the beginning. Like, how does that – think about that. None, bro. None. None. None whatsoever. I had, I had some great goals in, in my career, like, here and there. Like, my bicycle kick uh, against Ontario. Like, that was like – that was like, oh, the switch. But not how I had it in Orlando in the games that I had it in Orlando. And you know I had, what, I had seven games, so far, seven goals. Do you think it's because of the fact that you started feeling pressure? You're like, all right, first game I put two goals up. Fuck, people want me to put three goals up now. Next thing you know, people are like, hey, we want Gio. We want Gio. Put Gio. 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 It went back. It went back to when I was young. I was a forward. I was I was a goal scoring person. Like anybody who knows me in Chicago knows me. But at the same time. My professional career, I was more of a defender. So throughout that defender year, I really didn't worry about the offense. I worried about defending. But this year, I was actually a second forward, which allowed me to be me and run back and forth, defend, attack, defend, attack. And I, I got my stats. And, and it's not too much about the stats, how you say, but, but I'm proud of it because um, seven games, seven goals, uh, it, it kind of – it. It kind of woke me up to know what I'm capable of, and that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, man. I think that's awesome. That's I think I think Eddie will wrap it up. You know, pretty much explaining what can we expect from La Bestia, Gio. <laughs> yeah, man. Again, Gio, Gio, bro. Um, again, you know, one of the biggest things that that we capture was, you know, soccer is all I know. So that was that was amazing, man. But you know, we're we're so glad that you're back in the fields, man, back killing it and, and putting up stats. So, you know, um, so what I, I kind of I kind I wanna know for myself, like how, how are you keeping in shape during this this COVID and like what what's uh so what's next? Are you planning to like go back to you know to the sea wolves or like what so what's what's gonna what's gonna ha happen? So right now all right, so I've been I, I've been trying to stay here and there in shape. You know, I do my little squats by myself, looking at myself in the mirror. You know, but <laughs> but I, I actually went right here to a park by my house called Barron Park. It has a big hill in Elmhurst, and I was like, my dad was like, "You got to do twenty out of 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20,
20 up, 20 down. I made it to nine, man. I'm going to be honest. I made it to nine. <laughs> it was killer. So then that's all I do. Like, I kind of, like, I kind of, like, try to each day put, put, push myself in my, in my head that, that I got to do this to become who I want to be. And, and, and that's what it is in, in that term. Um, but, yeah, man, I really, I, in shape, I, like how we said, man, I, I train two weeks or three weeks before the season starts, man, and I'm that, ready to go. That, that's the next day. If you need people like that, keep them on your team, man. Keep them on your fucking team. There's not many people you meet that are naturally fit and they just need two, three weeks of their fucking life to get back in shape. You need people. So, Some people need yeah. a full fucking semester, six months. Yeah, Shit, man, you yeah. need four, you need a month, four weeks, man. That's it. I'm talking about myself. So, hey, so, so, so Gio, man. So again, man. So what's, uh, are you planning to go back to, you know, to oh, yeah. Sea Wolves or what's, what's going to happen? Are, are so, We, we so want to hear plan, what's next. So what the plan with, with what's next is um, right now, figure out what's, uh, what's going to happen here with um, the whole COVID situation, how we're like on hold a little bit more, I think here in Illinois than anywhere else. I know I heard in Florida, they're already opening beaches. But um, my, my, my future, for my future, yeah, I want to go back to coaching. I want to have a job, but I definitely want to go back to the Sea Wolves if, if that happens, if that actually Sign sticks. this kid, man. Sign him. Um, yeah, but if, if that don't happen, man, like, I'm, I'm praying and everything that during free agency that I, I land a, a great team to fight for a challenge. Oh, brother. Gio, regardless of that, let's say, obviously, Sea Wolves doesn't happen. You do end up in the league eventually, or you don't. Um, yes. Soccer is all you know, right? So eventually you're going to be either on the field, suiting up, or on the sideline, knowing what you've done. Exactly. Coaching. So I think... You know, I think you still got a lot of years to give us. I, um, I think we're both, both me and Eddie are in, uh, you know, we're, we're curious to see where, where your journey is going to end up. You know, we hope to see you again on the fucking field. I mean, now more than ever, the things that happened back then, we take them more in consideration now, right? We're more grateful. So hopefully we can see you one more year. But uh, regardless, regardless, we know that uh, soccer is all you know, and soccer is where you. all I know, baby. Hey, hey so, and, uh, and, and, so before and I wanna, before we yeah, uh, yeah. before we you know we we get out of here, any uh, you know one of the biggest things that we also want to do is try to support the local community. Um, you know, Gio. So so tell us what's what's your local. Sp- Spot or for people that don't know, you know, around the around, you know, the U.S. that want to come to Chicago, any any local spot you want to give a shout out to? Man, uh, I got a couple. I got three actually. I, I got um, gotta go to Pueblito Viejo, Colombian spot. Like it's off the chain. It's very delicious. Try bandeja paisa. You can even go to Flying Chicken. Pretty fire. But the main spot, the main spot you gotta go to for your wing, your hibarito, anything you want. And a drink, maybe a drink, watching games, sport games, um, is Cafe 10 in Elmwood Park. Um, it's my uncle's spot, Herbie Tercios. It's pretty fire. Check it out. You already know. Nice, man. Nice. Hey, let's go. Gio, well, th- these are the last things that I have to say, and then I'll swing it back to Eddie, and then you can pretty much wrap it up. Thank you for the time that you've given us. You know, I think uh, – we're going to have to probably squeeze this in in the amount of time that we want. But, dude, it, it's hard, man. It's hard because all the shit that you just gave us right now is so good to just keep it <laughs> dense. You know Bro, what? We'll, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll, we'll, keep, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. But, yeah, but, sure. but Gio, I, I'm telling you this personally from the first time I ever saw you play to now. I never thought that I would ever share this moment with you, and this is this is perfect, man. This is me neither, bro. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. 
We're thankful for you to share share your story. I love your fucking earring. Yeah, let look at that. That, that earring, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but hey. Yo, so so before before we sign off, man, again, you know, we're super blessed for you to join us, man. And you know, um if if anyone out there knows a really good story, you know, let us know. But you know, how can people, you know, how can people keep following, like, you know, follow your story, right? What, what social media or what, what's, what, you know, give us, give us a, a quick, quick glimpse on social media. What, how can people keep following you? All right. So, um, so people like, um, it was. What do you say? Tinder? <laughs> no, I think he said, uh, Facebook, um, and and Instagram. Did you say Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> Man, every time it's about to get good, it ends up just clicking out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got your <laughs> Tinder account, dude. Yeah. So, hey, wait, so, hey, Gio, so what, first what Tinder account, I end up having a... Huh? So what was uh what what's what's the social social accounts Instagram? <laughs> um. So yeah, my Instagram is Armando Giovanni Tello Jr. Or you can find my pet fan page, Armando Giovanni Tello Jr. fan page. Um. I have Facebook. Um. But yeah, that's what I have. Not too not not too much of a fan of different type like uh, Twitter and all that. But you guys can find me on like Instagram and Facebook. Deo, I will. Yo, if there's a word that I had to describe you, like I told Eddie, perseverance, man. Your story is bold, and I love you for it. I hope love you guys too. We could get together and actually shoot the shit and talk about it. But thank you, man. Oh, definitely, we're gonna do that, and I got the yeah, bro. Spot for that too. So, Deo, we are uh, we. You know, the team here at Yahweh after ninety minutes, man. You know. We we wish we we had more more to give everyone, but like I said, you know, this has been great learning your story and and putting it out there. Um, but again, everyone, please, you know, check us out on uh, on Yahweh After Ninety Minutes YouTube. We have our own channel. We're gonna put this up, um, you know, and then Instagram. We'll we'll put we'll put this episodes up. Um, but again, we're so blessed to to have had. Um, you know, Gio, join us, man. We're 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 so thankful. Thank you for being our first guest and and for kicking us off, man. And uh, you know, we wish you the best uh, in the future. And you know, uh, thank you again. But in the the team here, I think we we're ready. We're ready to roll, Diego. You got that? You got that song or what? Hey yo. <laughs> Gio, thank you, brother. God bless Jay, you. Love man. you guys, man. Thank We're you guys. Take off. care. Stay tuned yeah. for more to come, brother. From the team at Yahweh right. at, at 20 minutes. Support your local businesses. God bless y'all. Peace. God bless you guys. Love you guys. Dale, mi, dale, papi, dale.